What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. This is the first video of 2021 here on this channel and I'm so excited to kick this off with the brand new iPhone video. Now Sandmark sent over their variable ND filter for the iPhone here. So this is not a sponsored video. They sent it over for me to review it and test it and you know give you my honest opinion about it. And uh, what I did was to just take my iPhone clip this ND filter on. This basically works on any type of phone. As long as the lens is covering lens, as long as the filter is covering the lens, you can use this type of variable ND filter on any phone that you have. It's been pouring down here for two months now. So we finally got some snow and I took a bunch of photos with this ND filter and I also made a short sequence. Let's take a look at that short sequence and let's uh, get back to the studio after so I can give you my honest opinion about this filter and just ND filters for iPhones or for mobile phones in general. Now that you watched the video, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the quality of this 10-bit HDR 4K60 video sequence with the iPhone 12 Pro and the Sandmark variable in the filter. If you're gonna ask me, I would, you know, there is certain clips in the sequence which is really good. They're so crisp, they're so like awesome and all of that. And there's some clips which is not up to par at all. And even though we did a slightly tiny color grading to this, nothing major, it still ended up being, you know, average because we had some clips which was really good and we had some clips which was worse and not good at all. So I also wanted to show you the difference here that it's really important to film in the correct conditions all the time when you are using uh, an iPhone or your smartphone to film it. It doesn't matter if it's with or without an ND filter, as long as you film in the perfect conditions, which is basically sunrise and sunset, or midday if you're gonna film like activities and, and all of that, then those conditions are the best for the iPhone because the iPhone has such a small sensor, so you're gonna introduce a lot of grain to the lens and you will see that in your footage and it's really hard to get rid of, especially if you are making videos in LumaFusion, which doesn't have denoiser. Both Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, all of the above has, has these features, so it's easier to use an iPhone and get better results when you are using a program like that. So keep in mind that you might see high end, you know, super crisp, super crisp and professional looking iPhone videos because it's used so many different effects in post production to make that look awesome. And these are plugins which you have to pay for, it's uh, additional noise reduction 
and all of that, which in some cases you might have to pay for as well. So right out of the box, it's really important that you film with an iPhone in the proper condition. So midday, sunrise and sunset is my recommendations to get the best possible result. Also, let me know if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos using the iPhone 12 Pro. Also, again, let me know what you think of the footage down in the comment section below. When it comes to ND filters for an iPhone, I'm not really a fan of ND filters for the iPhone and I rarely, 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 and I rarely, uh, huh, and I rarely use any filters for my Sony camera as well. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Basically, when I'm facing the sun, that's when I want to use it. Uh, because I, I rather crank up the shutter speed a little bit and take the ISO a little bit further down in extremely bright, like winter season, conditions, I will use an ND filter anyway, because I have to. And for this Sony A7S III, I also have a variable ND filter, which I can come back to in a different video. So ND filters for an iPhone, I'm not gonna use it. And if you want my honest opinion about this one and also the use of ND filters for mobile filmmaking, personally, my personal opinion, and experience with it is that I I can't recommend it. You might have different uh, um, different experience with an ND filter. You might enjoy it, but here where I am living, uh, I'm not gonna get a lot out of an ND filter. If you live somewhere in like let's say Hawaii, LA, California, wherever there is bright conditions most of the year, and you are using your iPhone or your smartphone to film with, ND filter might be the solution for your. Uh, improvement in quality for mobile filmmaking. But like I said here in Norway, I'm not gonna get like, I'm, I'm not gonna get anything out of using an ND filter because it's like 70% of the year, it's cloudy and rainy and snowy and it's just, yes, very nice, very nice. So with that said, that's the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed this as well. Let me know in the comment section below. Again, if you want to see more videos related to the iPhone 12 or the iPhone mobile filmmaking in general, or if there is any other videos you'd like to see here on this channel. So again, happy new year and take care. Stay safe still, really important, wear a mask, and I see you guys in the next video.